What's up guys, it's June, and welcome back to uh, another UU campaign episode. This is actually episode 2 in season 1. And uh, we're going to be continuing our quest to make it as high as we can on the ladder using mons that we have won from other teams. So, um, looking at... So, if you guys remember to the last episode, um, I started with uh, Suicune, uh, Snorlax, and Chestnut, and then ended up winning uh, Crocodile, Dewblade, and Salamence. So, I'm going to fill you guys in on the Salamence spread because I kind of left it like hanging right there. Um, I it's just like bulky bulky mints because I needed a, a defogger on this team because hazards kind of ruined me And I also have done the thing which I think I'm gonna do for this series and probably this series only to kind of make it a special thing where I name it after subscribers who have been relatively active and Supportive throughout my entire YouTube journey. So just recap on the team if you did miss episode one we have sprite chaser z the sweet coon which is uh, just a standard crow coon spread we have brendan the snorlax because you know nice fat i'm playing it brendan's actually not fat at all so <laughs> uh which is just curse lax we have braylon lover forever um which is our spadef not um, because it's like Breloom, it's a grass fighting type, chestnut's grass fighting type, I'm a genius. We have the Sorkinist, um, who is our choice scarf, Moxie Crocodile. Um, then we have Elmas to show off here, um, who's actually a really cool guy, if you guys haven't already checked him out, I encourage, uh, you to do so, who is our, uh, Spadef, um, Spadef Dewblade, and then we have D-Train, um, who actually records all my, uh, LBA battles for me, he's a really cool guy, um, owner of the London Dragonites, I encourage you to check him out as well, Defog, Dragontail, Roost, and Earthquake, so with that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a battle, uh, if we don't find one here in the next couple of seconds, which we do, I was gonna skip, but it looks like I don't have to now, um, after the team loads in here, we will see what we're working with here and what mod we would like to potentially take because if you guys did not know um if we do uh win when we already have six mons we can add it to the collection here of the reserves just in case another of our mons goes down um honestly crowbats are looking like a mighty nice add um if we do end up pulling it pulling this battle out um i can probably lead with um sork uh, or Crocodile here just because he gets a pretty free knockoff or something um, If he even if he does lead with that like getting a knockoff will be nice um, If he leads with Crobat, I can donk it ends ends up leading with this which I don't really like at all um, This is helpful actually for knocking off of violets and such But not sure actually how much I'm gonna need it. So I'm just gonna fire off a knockoff right here We'll see if he is sash. Um, I I think dazzling gleam is a roll on uh, knocking me out or not. If he does have Grass Knot or Focus Blast, I'm dead. But Dazzling Gleam, I do believe, is a roll. Um, so he is Sash, which, you know, it's okay. Uh, he ends up going for a Focus Blast and I'm dead. But um, despite the fact that that kind of sucks, it's not actually that big of a deal. Um, because I have Snorlax, which... The Snorlax just come in for free, set up right now, and win. Actually, Suicune could probably do that too. Although I would preferably like to set Suicune up on something like Donphan. So we'll wait on that for a second. Um, I'm probably going to go out into the Snorlax here and just go straight away for a body slam. Hopefully get a para off if he does switch. If not, then uh, this thing is dead and it hasn't done too much harm because like a uh, non-life orb focus blast is not going to do a whole lot to Snorlax. And it seems that PS is lagging a lot today, so that'll make it fun to record. <laughs> I'm going to go straight away for the body slam right here just because I do think it is my best play. Uh, just get off damage. I could try to curse up, but I'm a little, uh, just a little scared of that Scrafty. Just a little. Even though I do have phasing, so like I could set up if I really wanted to right here. Um, but you know, we'll see. He does end up hitting his focus blast, does 44%, and uh, which is actually not a lot of damage. Adds a 3 at KO. We out here eating up these focus blasts. Shout out, Brandon. Anyway, um, we'll see what he goes into right here. I'm presuming is going to be his Scrafty, which would be a big deal if I didn't have defensive mints, because defensive mints actually just comes in and shuts that thing down, which is beautiful. I can start phasing stuff out, and at any point now, I believe if I set up with Suicune, unless he's Whirlwind Snorlax, I do win. Uh, he goes into Hoodsy. Um, so I'm just going to go straight into D-Train right here just because, you know, it is probably my best play. I suppose I could try to go into uh, E here Chestnut and get up some spikes, um, but I'll save spikes, spikes for later considering he has a Defogger and a Spinner waiting in the wings, literally waiting in the wings because he's a Crobat. Ah! 
I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a Friday. I just got home from school. I've, I've been looking forward to this all day. Um, so here he goes for the knockoff right there, which is actually a good play. Um, but I'm just going to go straight away for a detail. Um, because if he does try to set up a DD in my face, then he's gone. If he's ice punched, that's mildly troubling. Um, but fairly certainly he just gets set up on by Suicune at this point anyway, because this thing's weak. Um, you know, if Scrafty was faster, if it hit like... If it hit base 75, it would be justifiable, because then you could out, like, actually outspeed stuff after a DD. So it ends up, end up uh, detailing him out into his Snorlax, which is not actually that much of a problem. I'm just clicking detail again. I do think it is my best play, because it stops him from setting up curses all over my face. And uh, if he does try to switch out to Don Fan again, I'm getting free damage. So, you know, I do think this team is actually kind of coming along pretty well. Um, he just goes for the return, which does a lot. Is that banded? Goes into this crafty. That's not good. Um, looks like I'm just detailing again right here. Knockoff shouldn't do a whole lot because it will be weaker now um, due to the fact that I do not have an item anymore. I could roost right here if I really wanted to. Um, which may actually be my best play. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, although I probably detailed, um, because, you know, that's just the way that PS works sometimes. So, you know, if we detail him out, and, uh, we detail him out into Donphan, then I will be able to roost. Um, if we detail him out into Crobat, I will not be able to, or P2 for that matter. Um, but if... If I get det or if I detail him out into P2, rather, that's what I'm trying to say. If I detail him out into P2, it's not that much of an issue. He goes for the knock. I basically get free health right there. So I actually did get the roost off. That's pretty sick. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's super helpful. Um, so now I can simply fire off ye old detail right here. Um, as he goes into Don Fan, please hit. I hit. Look at that, a free 25%. That's what I like to see. Um, right here, I think I am going to go into Dewblade, <laughs> um, because Dewblade actually does wall a significant portion of his team. Um, if this is Thick Fat, then it just hard walls this. If this is uh, the other thing, Scrappy, then I still pretty much wall this. Um, I'm immune. We out here. I'm going to go straight away for the Toxic, just because I will hit whatever switches in. If he switches into this, that is a pretty bad play, in my opinion. Um, his best play is probably Dawn Fan, because Dawn Fan does take this thing on a whole lot better than Crobat. Crobat can't actually touch this thing, unless it's like... Nasty plot dark pulse. Does it even get narc <laughs> not narc pulse? Dark pulse. Uh, learn Crobat Dark Pulse. Crobat can learn Dark Pulse, so there you go. That, there's your innovative spread. There's your Dublade Lure right there. Um, anyhow, we're probably gonna pause it until this man makes his move. Um, because, you know, I, I Because this is not a winnable battle for him. Oh never mind, he makes his move into a Crobat, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like I'm just firing off a gyro ball because it is my best play. I do just want damage right here. Um, this should be a nice two at KO. Even if he goes for the toxic, or not the toxic, the taunt right here, then uh, I think I'll be okay because I can stall him out of roosts, sort of, or I can just go straight out into something else as his U turn does. Almost 2%. Crobat had been hitting that weight room. <laughs> U turn's doing two percent now. Oh my god, help me! Um, and this is like zero defense, Dewblade. This is max HP, max spadef. So fancy that. Um, spadef Dewblade is actually pretty cool. He goes into his uh, P two right here, which to be honest, I really do not feel um, like that is the best play. I can just click uh, Toxic right here. We never miss, and we no guard. Ray Allen in the gym. Anyway. <laughs> Um, because if I do get, yeah, we're just gonna trade status right here, which works out insanely better in my favor right here, uh, cause I just get to go, you've got me stumped, man. Dang right I do, I'm a legend. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go out into, uh, I'm just gonna go into the Suicune right here, cause Suicune just sets up and wins. Um, now that I know that's banded Snorlax, then it's not an issue. He goes for the Ice Beam, yum chewed even if he had uh frozen me i have scalds so i'm just gonna click call mine right away to uh protect myself from the potential thunder blast but i feel like he's t wave ice beam tri attack recover although he may not be running stab 
but I, I feel as if that is kind of foolish. Uh, that is like running E-Belt on a normal type. Uh, he does have T-Bolt. Look at that. But that is actually doing zero damage. So, Sprite Chaser Z, my homie, who has actually been here forever. Sp shout out to Sprite Chaser Z, by the way. Because, like, this dude has actually been here forever. I think he's been around since, like, in between 10 and 20 subs. So, long time. Coming up on a year now. I'm honored to have like people s stick around that long so uh, right here he goes into his Don fan I'm just clicking scald because I should outspeed this thing in almost every scenario I don't want him roaring me out right here um, because like that would be mighty unfortunate it's this guy is talking in the chat he's just playing it off like he made a misclick it's okay we, <laughs> we we all get swept by a sweet coon here and there uh, yeah, th th this is this is a snack wrap right here because he can't actually do anything to me with P2. Uh, P2 can only stay in so long as I just see him my way to victory. Um, so almost a 6-0, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna stick Crobat in the back if uh, we do end up getting this dub because Crobat is a great defogger, great fighting spam check, um, and kind of does what Mince does to be honest. Um, I just like Mence a little bit more right now because it phases and it also gives me um, an extra water resist and an extra fire resist, both of which are actually kind of nice. He goes into a, this snor this here Snorlax. I'm firing off a Scald because there is like zero reason if you have Scald on your moveset not to click it unless you're Scalding another like plus six Spadef water type or you're Scalding a Water Absorb Mon. Other than that, you have zero reason not to click it because, you know, even... Even in like a SPL, there have been matchups of like Tentacruel versus whatever, like uh, Tentacruel versus Empoleon, and it's basically who can get Scald, a uh, Scald Burn first, which is, to be honest, pretty dumb. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and CM again right here because I know that even if he crits me, it's gonna be like what, 40 percent? Yeah, and I can easily just rest that damage off. He'll have to get three successive crits uh, without me burning him with Scald. So. Um, he goes for the turn again. I'm eating. Yum, yum, yum. And, uh, I can just... Because, like, I don't, I don't want to risk uh, getting crit later down the line, but incoming forfeit, more than likely, uh, which will be very nice, because matches are moving kind of slow on PS today. We are already 12 minutes in on an 18-turn battle. Help me. <laughs> um, at least it wasn't a 6-0. Basically me playing on the ladder. <laughs> This guy's pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna fire off a rest right here. Fire off a rest as if I'm actually do anything, doing anything. Also, the reason I decided to name this thing Sprite Chaser Z is because he's literally catching Z's when he goes to sleep, clicks rest, got him. Anyway, um, Suicune actually has done an insane amount of work this series. Um, I think we've had one Snorlax sweep. One Suicune sweep in one other game to where I just was able to uh, pull it out with a uh, Crook and... I think it was Crook and Coon in that game. So, anyway, um, I can probably pause until uh, this guy goes ahead and makes a move. Because, um, you know, you guys kind of know what's going to happen at this point. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully you guys can uh, cannot rather hear my dog... Um, my dogs, plural, running around upstairs. It's just that time, time of the day for them. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and click Sleep Talk right here. It is my best play. I can fire off a Scald, I can get a Calm Mind, or I can get a Rest like I did on the last turn. Either way, um, yeah, I get a Calm Mind. I'm plus five. This game's over. He goes, he tried to T-Wave me. Optimal plays. <laughs> so, I can just Scald right here and, uh, pretty much click Scald on my way to victory. Um... If you guys are watching at this point in the video, can you guys let me know? Um, would you rather me just uh, skip through these parts when I'm like clearly going to win and I have like plus five, plus five Suicune at full health and my opponent has zero Suicune checks? Would you guys rather me just like skip through that? Or would you rather me like sit here and kind of chill with, with you guys? Because I'm fine to do either one. Because sometimes it is nice to have some extra time just to sit back and relax and talk to you guys because you know I'm at school like most of the day doing tons of work like hanging out with my friends at school but it's a lot of work nonetheless and it's nice to just kind of come back and uh, just chill you know play Pokemon in front of a screen not get burns 
<laughs> um, either way, it, like, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, this thing should get to a K Yeah, that thing will get to a KO. That might just get O-code, but we'll see about that. Um, anyway, I've been wanting to play a lot more Smash recently, and Brendan and I may try to do a thing where we play, like, Adventure Mode or whatever it is on, uh, Melee, and... Like, I wouldn't be able to run the game on my computer, I don't think, but there, he was telling me about this software. Most of you guys will probably know what it is, and I look like that, like, old lady who's like, oh, help me, like, learn the technological ways of the youth. And, <laughs> and the, so, apparently, Brendan was telling me about this technology, um, I said technology, the software that, uh, lets me play remotely and play on his computer. So, like, that's probably how we would do that. Because, you know, Smash is pretty fun. Um, it's a lot more skill-based than Pokemon, so I obviously need, like, more time. More time in in the kitchen cooking up those fresh moves, you know what I'm saying? I need more time to do that. But, um, look at that burn. Fresh. <laughs> Crit. Wow. This dude is just Master Haxor. Anyway, so... I, what, what, basically, what do you guys think about me potentially bringing some form of Smash to the channel? Um, I think it would be pretty fun, not even gonna lie, but it would be more like casual, laid-back stuff, of course. So now this guy, anyway, back to the battle. This guy's gonna go back to his Crobat, and we just click in Scald out here. That, that hot wowda. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys watch, like, a lot of old, a lot of old Shofu vids from, like, um... I think it was like when Black and White were first released. Um, like, it was released in like Japan and whatever before it was le released in America. So people made ROMs of the game and they would like make translations. And <laughs> Shofu's translation instead of Scald was like Hot Wauda. And I just thought of it. Like, that's just one thing that's always stuck with me. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and find another match and uh, I'll be right back, guys. Um, th this guy started a timer on me, like, immediately, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it, but probably a Galvantula lead for him, so looks like I'm leading with Dewblade right here, and I'm probably gonna gyro a ball, so. Anyway, I still have to add Crobat here, I just wanna place it there, so I know that I have it waiting in the wings if I do need to, uh, as he does end up leading with this thing, which is fine, he can't actually dent me at all. Um, I can just click gyro right here, and... You know, the thing that's kind of counterproductive about having Dewblade right here is that if it operates as the primary fighting check and can't touch most fighting types, then that's generally a problem. But um, he just ends up going for the thing, which does zero damage. And uh, I can just fire off a another gyro. Or actually, I'm going to fire off a toxic in case he tries to go into his pert right here. Because um, pert really doesn't threaten me at all. Um, if. Like, it doesn't threaten my team at all. So, um, essentially, once I get rid of this thing, I can yum. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he would uh, paralyze me right there so I could have that strong gyro ball. But I'm just going to go for the rest. No point in not doing it. Anyway, back to what I was saying about Pert. Pert really doesn't threaten my team at all. It's setup fodder if it doesn't have roar for that and that. Uh, Chestnut stomachs, it, stomachs its hits relatively well. And uh, then that can pick it off if it's weakened and uh, men's just pretty much hard walls it after intimidate so that is pretty neat um right here i'm going to go straight out into the chestnut i think um because chestnut isn't doing a whole lot this game being completely honest um because it doesn't really check men's at all and i would like dewblade healthy for his own men's um just so i don't get absolutely ravaged um this this guy's team is actually kind of threatening so he's going to go for the thunder right here as I eat that up, and no para, which is nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click spiky shield. I have no reason not to. Uh, he lost like 19 to poison last turn, so he'll lose 24 this turn. And at that point, I can probably just pull another switch into Dewblade and uh, do that whole shenanigan. Set of shenanigans, rather, whichever way you want to whichever way you want to call it. So anyway... Um, wasn't gonna pause it right there until he awkwardly, like, made a move, so, <laughs> um, right here I'm gonna go straight back out into my Dewblade because it doesn't really matter to me, powers up my Gyro Ball, and, uh, we're gonna wait for this guy to make a move, we will be right back.
Alright, uh, this guy went ahead and made his move. Sorry about, like, the whole thing that I didn't catch the move on camera. But he ended up dying. I'm just gonna end up going for the, uh, this is a problem. <laughs> Help. Um, I'm gonna go into my ments right here. Um, if I do just have to sack ments the defog, then I have to sack ments the defog. Um, it's not an ideal situation, but it, I, it may be what ends up going down. Because the goal is to defog, uh, lock him into outrage and uh, go from there. So he ends up just going for the DD. This is mildly scary. Um, if I get swept right here because I um, don't Dragon Tail, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. <laughs> um, because, you know, Mensa is a threat to pretty much the entire meta, which is one reason I was influenced, or I thought really hard about picking up P2. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um, so we got to get a Gyro Ball right here. There is no room for second chances. Or I could just switch around for the next 10 turns and stall him out of life or recoil. Would I not be a god if I did that? <laughs> anyway, we're going for the sleep talk. Because I think that is the way to go. Um, of course it is the way to go. My Dewblade is asleep right now. And when you have sleep talk and you're asleep, you generally click it. So, uh, he ends up going for the EQ, which will to it KO me. Please get a gyro. Ah, nice! Alright, so now I can kind of sack this thing and risk being run over by Luke. Yeah, that, that looks like the play to make. <laughs> that looks like the play to make, if we're being real. Um, so I'm just going to go for another sleep talk if he reveals Roost. That is really troubling. Although I feel like, even though Dragon Ground is good coverage, it leaves a lot to be desired, I feel like. So he's just going to knock me out with the EQ. Mens goes down and uh, all the better for me. Um, I think right here I can just go out into Crocodile because Crocodile is relatively dead weight um, because of this here web, which is... Oh, wow, I just pulled a mince out of thin air. Look at that. I'm a magician. Can I do that again? Oh, I, I grabbed the web that time. Oh, I, I can't... I did it. Where, where, where are you at? Oh, look at that. I can pull mints out of thin air. Am I not a legend? Like, let, let's be honest, people. Am I not a legend? So, look... That I, I'm like a two-year-old now. I can't do it anymore because he already chose his move. Um, but we're going to wait for Showdown to stop lagging, and uh, I'll be right back. Wait, am I playing here? Are we going? Yeah, we're, is it, sorry about that. <laughs> also, sorry for all the pauses. Um, I know it's mildly annoying because, you know you're trying to watch a video and I keep like basically pausing it in front of you but I feel like it's a lot better than sitting through like 30 seconds of basically dead time on showdown um, because of the aforementioned lag um, anyhow back to the battle uh, he went out into a swamper right here which may or may not be his mega we're gonna see is his mega so that knockoff was pretty useless he rain dances which I don't really feel like it's that good of a play I mean, you're powering up my Scald, if anything, and I have no qualms with with clicking that, so. Um, looks like Sork is going to have to bite the bullet for a second consecutive battle, and is going to just be sacked pretty early in the game. But now I can just go into Sprite Chaser Z, uh, not even a problem, unless he reveals, like, the HP Grass and his, like, max special attack specs, then I think I'll be okay. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go straight away for the CM, uh, just because it does give me a little bit more uh, a little bit more stock power versus the rest of his team, because I do want to be able to take on stuff like Alakazam, and uh, I do think it helps me Oko Lucario in rain. So he goes for, for the EQ, which is doing nothing. Um, I can actually take another one of those, so as long as he doesn't crit me, we are golden, we are in the clear, and uh, it's looking like, looking like I can pull through this game with a, a combination of this and Snorlax, so, um, and when in doubt, just like, set up spikes and stuff with Braylon Lover forever, so, um, that also could have been a play to make, go out into this and get up a spike, it would have helped a lot in breaking a potential sash, he goes in a loop right here, which, eh, I don't necessarily agree with that play, but I see where you're going, um, and I can just click Scald, because... It, it, like, this thing will die right here. There is no two ways about it. Um, if he tries to SD in my face, I think that's a pretty questionable play. Because um, he will die. As he tries to nasty plot. So, goodbye, Lucario. Thank you for your rain boost, Mr. Swamp Man. Uh, really appreciate it. Anyway. <laughs> um, this is one reason I wish I, I really wish I had taunt on Chestnut. Over, like... 
I don't know, probably over Spiky Shield, um, because it would help me a lot in beating Sweep in 1v1, because I could essentially just Leech Seed, Taunt, Stall it all the way down, and prevent it from resting. Uh, he goes into this, which, in my opinion, is another pretty questionable play, because uh, I can just click Scald to it KO him. I don't think he can uh, to it KO me with any of his moves, especially now that I'm like double Assault Vested right here, so... I have like 500 spadef at this point. You ain't, you're not breaking past this. Let's be real. Um, he does have a Suicune just chilling there. I have no idea why he hasn't gone to it yet. He goes for the energy ball, which did a cool 22%, and uh, that is going to easily two hit KO him. I almost said two hit KO. I don't know. <laughs> so even after I click Scald again, I can rest versus his Pert relatively freely because as we saw. Uh, the EQ is not doing that much damage, it's doing like 35%, which is um, 3 at KO after leftovers. So, now that we get that thing out of the way, that is super helpful. Um, looking at his team and what I would potentially want to add, um, Lucario is looking kind of nice, not even going to lie. Um, because ideally what I want to do with this team is turn it into like a pretty nice balanced team. It's looking kind of fat right now, a little bit more fat than I would probably like it to be. Um... Why Why was this the play? I'm clicking rest. <laughs> so, I have like Crobat chilling on the back. So, ideally, what I could do is have Crobat as my fighting check and defogger. So, get rid of Ments. Um, yum. <laughs> I could have Lucario right here. And then I would still have like these two because I feel like these two actually synergize really well and make a very nice defensive backbone. And then, you know, whatever mons we. Uh, pick up along the way. I'll probably end up dropping Dewblade at some point, um, and I'll probably end up, I might drop that, we'll see. Um, compound's a little bit of a fire weakness, but, you know, at that point when you have these two, you can pretty much sponge any type of fire hit you really want to, um, that really is thrown at you, so, um, I did not click sleep talk because I'm an idiot. <laughs> that, that's really the only reason I could come up with right there, uh, was too focused on the commentary, not on the game. Good job, Geo. Anyway. It's not really that, that big of a deal, though, because I feel like I'm just going to coast into victory right here, and that'll probably wrap up this episode, because this is about to be a 30-minute live, which I used to do daily back in the summer, but those were, like, relatively lower quality lives, and uh, my voice was still significantly higher than it is right now. So, yeah, if you go back and watch my first upload, my voice is super high, but it's I Get a Scald. Get a CM. So now, now I'm just like hitting things harder now. So this is Crocoon just at work. Crocoon got, didn't get, didn't actually get thumbnail duties last episode, but uh, uh, I would be shocked if it didn't get thumbnail, uh, thumbnail privileges rather in this episode. So if you guys can see uh, how much those earthquakes are doing, looks like 35 is a high roll, and uh, I can avoid the three at KO pretty easily. Um, with leftovers recovery so that is always nice and uh, I'll go ahead and pause it right here until this guy gets back because I don't want to make this horribly long if you guys feel what I'm saying that's solid forfeit um, so looking like we haven't lost on the ladder so far which you know usually when I just try to ladder I just lose to like really bad players um, but you know it's working out this time so we're gonna go ahead and grab Lucario because Lucario is a very versatile and threatening mon so now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode staying undefeated so if you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel also make sure to answer today's comments question of the video I don't know why I said it like that but I guess I just did um what, what can be a what can be a fresh comment question in the video right here? Um, I, I okay. So in, envision this scenario: you guys were out on a super nice date, right? Um, and you're like, and, and like things are kind of going south. You need like a really good joke to bring it back. What is your guys like ace in the hole joke? Because like I feel like everybody should have one. I don't so. Maybe picking up some of your guys' jokes. Anyway, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.